Let's turn now to motorsport, something, of course, cars have been involved in ever since they could move faster than a walking man. When Mitsubishi put their big four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering saloon, the Glant, to the ultimate test of rallying, it was poo-pooed as being something of a gimmick. It proved to be a very tough competitor indeed. Despite a horrendous role, Harry Vatanen came fifth in last year's Lombard RAC rally. Now, Tiffany Dell hoped for a rather less dramatic ride when he was having a lesson in the art of rallying in the sister car that actually won last year's event. Well, that's what happens when you get things a little bit wrong in rallying. Today, we're going to show you how to do it right, and I'm under strict orders not to bend this rally car. Well, I'm not going to show you how it's done, but last year's Lombard RAC rally winner, Penty Rickler, he's going to show us. Soon after we set off and headed for a tight right-hander, Penty swung the car hard left. A bit odd, I thought. Yeah, it's called Scandinavia, I think. I do the same here. I turn right first and then left. So, turn right from left hand and left. Powering out. I see you've got your foot, left foot on the brake all the time, changing gear as well. Well, <laughs> you can do it with this sort of gearbox. Uh, it's designed that you, you can have your left foot all the time with a brake pedal and uh, you only use the clutch when you change the gears up because it's a quicker that way to do it. Now we're heading up to the forest section. Now all the World Championship rallies are going to be pace notes, so you will know what's around the corner. Oh, oh! Almost into the forest, literally. That was a Scandinavian overdoing. <laughs> So will pace notes actually change driving styles? No, not really, but a uh, little bit of driving lines are more sort of like racing lines. So I know you are you more used to. I mean, I've done a bit of driving. I did the rally school in a, in a rear-wheel drive escort. So is that going to be any use with a four-wheel drive? Four-wheel drive cars are nearer than front-wheel drive cars. For example, if you get very sideways, you put more power on. I'm not to... used to this uh, changing gear without the clutch. Tremendous, the gearbox takes it. Well, OK, Penty, I've uh, seen how you do it. I think uh, time for you to stop and let me have a go. Well, if you have to, I'm quite bad passenger, but uh, let's see how it happens. He might be a bad passenger, but he hadn't shown much concern for my nerves as we brushed the woodwork at 80 miles an hour. Well, Penty, that seemed incredibly quick to me through those uh, trees. If there's, uh, I'm going to have a go now. If there's one thing I'm going to concentrate on, what should it be? Well, I guess it is the wheel between your hands which should concentrate. Let's get that right. OK, that's lesson number one. Let's that's try. Right. The steering wheel, indeed. That was the last of my worries as I stepped into the thoroughbred rally car with four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering and then fired up the 300-horsepower turbocharged engine. As we headed for the woods, my only worry was whether my technique was going to be up to it. So this just a, a normal ride, just to get the feel of it. Yeah. Second gear, third gear. Now I'll try this Scandinavian on the left, turn right, then turn left, whoops. I think I'm being vicious enough with it. Yeah. So, flip right and round. Very good. Power. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Super. Very good. And I'm going into that field again. <laughs> On the power. And you can feel how good the traction is in the four-wheel drive. Now we come to the wooded bits where I'm going to be a a lot more cautious. Please. <laughs> and uh, there, if you don't attack the corner, you can feel the understeer much stronger. Second gear. And it's really the traction that is so good in four-wheel drive that you can get the drip. Very tight through the trees, easing the power, but then, again, superb traction. That's really where, compared with the old two-wheel drive, this car is so good because you've simply got so much traction once the car's straight. And it's nice now to get out in the open, but I'll try a bit of a flick one and the other, and then on the power, and... and... 
too much power. Even full opposite lock wasn't enough to stop the car spinning. Well, I'm not sure that's the right way to do it, Penty. I think that's a bit slow that way, don't you? Well, it is. It's very entertaining anyhow. I'll try and do another lap without many mistakes. But well, if we must, <laughs> we will have automatic gearbox next time. OK, so I crunched a couple of gears, but I was enjoying the four-wheel drive and getting into the swing of turning left before right while trying to ignore the ever-present trees. Feeding the power on. Very conscious this isn't my car. Oh, There's great. a tree <laughs> right here on the edge of the road. Well, Penty, what do you think of my driving? Oh, well, Tiff, I think you ought to stay in a motor racing Group C or whatever you are good at. Oh, dear. That bad? We're going to have a beer, then. And uh, no drinking driving. 